Hi there, you're watching YouTube channel You Can. My name is Tatiana and in this video I would like to share a few tips on how to keep your garden safe from deer. For those of you who don't have a lot of time to watch the entire video, I want to give you a short um, rundown of what is enough to prevent deer from coming into your garden and destroying your crop. So a four foot fence, this is a four foot chicken wire fence, is enough to keep deer out of your garden. But for those of you who want to hear the story, here it is. So maybe you have been buying deer repellent, which we had in the beginning also bought deer repellent sprays, which do work, but there's one problem with those. If you forget to spray the deer repellent one time, all the work that you have put in to preventing deer from eating your garden will have gone down the drain because forgetting to reapply the deer repellent one time is enough to allow the deer to come in and eat everything you have been working so hard for. So to save time and money, we put up a fence. This is a chicken wire, four foot fence. Yes, it's only four feet tall and it is sufficient and it is enough to keep the deer out. So the first year that we bought this place, uh, we had planted aronia bushes and um, we were going to pick the aronia berries the next day. So the next morning we came out and the berries and the leaves have been had been stripped completely and all we had left were twigs. So I was sharing my frustration about the deer with a person that I knew who was an avid hunter and uh, he said, why don't you put up a fence? Well, I said, I don't want to put up a 12 foot fence or a six or 10 foot fence because generally if you go online, that's what everyone says. Six to 10 feet, 12 feet is what you need to prevent deer from coming into an area. So this person that I've been talking about uh, said, you don't need a six to 10 foot fence. You can put up a small four foot fence and that will be enough. And the logic behind that is instinctively, wild animals will not jump into an enclosure. So the reason why you need a 10 or 12 foot fence to keep deer in is because the deer want to escape an enclosure. But wild deer will not put themselves into an enclosed area. That is against their instincts. So we decided to give it a shot. Didn't cost too much money to buy a chicken wire and these treated um, posts. So we rented a attachment to the skid loader that digs holes and we put the posts in and put the chicken wire on. And lo and behold, it works. We no longer have a problem with deer coming in and eating our crops. Uh, they do stay on the other side of the fence because um, down on the other side I have hostas and the deer come and munch on them regularly, um, but they do not come into our garden. Uh, we have not had anything destroyed by deer since we've put the fence up. As you can see here, we have fennel and mint and trees and they are all thriving and doing well and they are not being munched on by deer. As you can see, they do frequent this part of the yard and uh, this is not in the in fenced in part, but you can see that these um, plants have been eaten typical deer damage. You can see where they've eaten off the tops. So if you're looking for a permanent solution to uh, keeping deer out of your garden, a fence is the way to go. And from our experience, a four foot fence is sufficient to keep deer out. So this is the garden right by the fence. It's right on the line of our property. And as you can see, everything looks amazing. The deer have not nibbled on anything. Now rabbits are a different story uh, because the soil has unevennesses, like there's little divots 
even though the fence comes down to the ground, there are places where there's like little, um, little hills and valleys right in the soil. So rabbits will find that and they do come in. Um, but for the most part, there are not um, as many rabbits as there had been before we put the fence up. Um, some sne sneaky ones do get through and um, we're working on that to actually seal off the bottom with either wood chips or um, soil to prevent rabbits from coming in because they do um, destroy young plants. Um, right now, so late in the season, um, if they eat a leaf or two from a, a plant of um, beets or um, collard greens or whatever it is that they want to nibble on, it doesn't make a big um, impact on the plant. But in the spring when the plants are young, uh, they do wipe out uh, entire rows of beets and carrots and collard greens, Swiss chard, they love that stuff. So um, rabbits is a separate issue, but they're not as destructive as deer typically are. So a four foot fence is plenty of height to keep deer out of your garden. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.